Hello, friends, and welcome back to To Restore You. It is Angela, and it's been a hot minute. I tell you, I have not done a video for a very long time, and I thought I would hop on and show you um, my finished product, what I've decided to call my winter green journal, and this was really fun. Uh, it is an old Reader's Digest. Uh, what I learned early on is that it's quite fragile. The pages are pretty fragile. So uh, it was a work of love. <laughs> That's for sure. So I thought I would do it, just do a quick flip through and tell you a little bit about what is inside before it goes off to its new owner. So I did do um, a little, it's got pretty big, pretty chunky monkey. And so I did make a elastic band. It kind of looks like a headband. Um, and just added some lace and organza ribbon and a couple little snowflake charms. And then this, I used these. Let's see. I'm going to show you. Um, I've, got, I've got a whole vase full. Um, but these are remnants of these. And... I made these, but um, they were used in our bouquets. I used, um, they were wood flowers and then vintage um, pieces of um, earrings and brooches. And this is this is not old, but it is, um, I had bought a lot of extras because I had several to do. And this is one of the remaining pieces. So it's just pinned pinned on there so someone can take it off and reuse it if they want. And then... Uh, I don't do a lot of dangles, but I did do this one. This is actually a curtain. Um, oh gosh, you use them on like Roman shades. And so I used that and just some cute ribbons, some vintage buttons. And most of this is all from vintage necklaces and um, earrings that have since been dismantled and broke. So I have turned them into charms. And then I just included a writing board. This is out of a, one of those file folders and just a little um, tag. Someone could use it for a bookmark or use it for something else if they wish. So I did leave the cover blank uh, just because I thought someone might want to put something on there. And when I had this on the front, it was pretty busy. So um, and then I just put some lace and some, these are um, fabric samples from an interior design book. So here we go. Um, on the inside flap, I just have a couple of journaling cards and an Edith Holden page for December. I thought that was kind of cute. And then I made a couple little paper clips. And inside of this, this is, you've seen me use these before. Um, but this is, I think this is a bridal one. But it's actually where you can write a letter to someone and seal it and send it off. And so I just did a couple little extra journaling spots. And clipped it right inside here. And let's see, another little pocket with some tiny tags. And I have, okay, so this is, um, let's see, Stamperia, Blue Fern Studios, um, a Tooks Craft Table, Polka Dot Pixels, and Triple V Vintage. And then some of my own digitals as well. So um, lots and lots of different papers. Um, this is just a little playing card, a couple little, this is a belly band, and then it's um, the tuck behind it, and another journaling card with these adorable littles on there, and another little tag. A couple of little flowers. This one has, there's lots and lots of pockets. One of the things that, um, a couple more journaling cards, those are, I believe, stamped Hmm, it might be Blue Fern. 
and then a, po a top pocket. So <clears throat> one of my favorite types of journals to do is the altered book. Um, and I'll just tell you, uh, I need to do one on camera, but I'll just tell you a little bit of, about how I do mine, whether it's a magazine, whether it's a book. So I start by leaving a few pages in the front, um, usually five or six pages. And then <clears throat> I start tearing out a few pages. It just depends on how big um, my book or my magazine is. And then I actually do all of my planning through all of my pages. So like this one, um, I knew I wanted it to be um, a, a, a double pocket. So I turned and rolled all my pages in advance. Now on this one, because the pages were so fragile, I did not cut off the insides. I left, you know, a lot of times I'll, you know, cut this off so there's not quite so much bulk. And that's why this became so big because the pages were so fragile and I just wanted it to be a little more sturdy. So we have some shorthand. We have a couple more tags, some baby tags here and they're just clipped in. Uh, let's see. Another little clip. I love these paper clips. Just a little bit different, you know. Um, this is, I believe, a double pocket. So we have a little journaling card here. And that's one of my digitals on the back. As is this. And then this is just an old playing card. I thought those colors were perfect. Um, same here. So this one, as you can see, I did the layout mim mimicking each other. So there's a um, coin envelope in here. Uh, let's see, is there two tags? Oh, this one I did. Um, they were three tags and I just made them into one fold out and then some faux tickets in there. So lots of fun. This was a really, really fun project. And what I liked about it is as I was going through and creating my pages, I really, um, I found that this works really well when I do it this way. Um, because when I start at the front of the journal, I get par partially through. Then I go to the back of the journal. I leave four or five pages and I start tearing um, pages out and then putting my um, signatures, if you will, my page lay layouts together and it allows me to say, okay, well, what haven't I done? What could I do differently? And then I just kind of, um, as I go paper clip my pages together. So I know what I've, what I've got going on. Um, so this one you see is also, um, a double pocket, another Edith Holden journal card, some more playing cards and a little tuck there. Another, piece of, I believe that's Stamperia. And this is an old card. And then this is some of my, I think this is my digital. Eh. I think, I think. I know, I really need to do one of these <clears throat> on camera because they're so much fun. And to me, these are really relaxing. Um, between these and then the um, three ring or five ring, however many ring um, journals. They're probably my favorite. So this one was just, I folded the pages up and made this into a pocket here. There's also a pocket right here. And then just added some little embellishments on there. And then on this side, this is full of all kinds of goodness. This is a Tim Holtz um, piece. And then there's um, a, a tuck back there and all kinds of goodies in here. Here's another tag. What's this one? Let's see. Oh, this is some old, um, this is from my collection. This is from an old magazine, an advertisement. Hold on, let me get that in there. Where do you go? Oh, I guess I have, I got lots of pockets on that one. This is a top pocket. Um, this is some of my Kool-Aid dyed paper. And then here, I just stuck this on with a little piece of my, this is really vintage jewelry. I love it. 
and I just put that on with a bulb pin on the on the side of a paper clip. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, this is a side pocket, and I just made a card out of um, one of those and left it instead of instead of cutting both of them out. I just left it together and made it into a journaling spot. So there's that, and we've got another little side tuck there. So this one, let's see, I did this one with um, two pockets. So there's a pocket here with a big journaling card. This is another one of my um, vintage books. Um, another journaling card. This was just some old gift tags that I thought looked really cute together. And so I did that and embellished it with this extra little side tuck there. And then on this side, I did a belly band. And this has a little pocket. And it flips out like that. Hi, buddy. And then it just slides right back in there. And this one is just one of my, I did these on camera a while ago. Um, I just used the little, I think they're the pockets that you put like, um, trading cards in like baseball trading cards, another little pocket with a, a belly band there. What else do we got? Something back here. Another. This is just something I, this is one of my master boards that I collaged on and some of my um, coffee dyed papers. And in here, this is from Triple V Vintage. It's one of my favorite. She just does amazing work when she does her coffee dyeing and there's just a, a journal card and a side pocket there. Um, another top pocket and a journaling card. There's lots. I mean, although there are lots of pockets. Okay, I got to turn this around. This one is not as thick of cardstock as some of them. Uh, there's lots of pockets, but I tried to make sure there's lots of place for journaling. Another one of those tags there. This is just a half pocket. This is some of my um, digitals. Uh, this was just a circle from one of the kits, and I just made that a side tuck along with another tag here and a, what's this one? This is just a little, one of the greeting cards from the kit as well. This is one of my, my digitals. And a lot, some of my digitals I'm doing this um, year, although it's been a slow start because I've been a little under the weather, um, I am doing mindful Mondays. And so, and, um, I'm also doing Friday freebie, freebies on our To Restore You VIP page. So every Friday I will have something. And they're usually things that I don't put on Etsy, but I have from my personal collection or I've done just for a journal of my own, a digital that I didn't, maybe it was just one or two pages and I didn't actually um, put that on Etsy. So um, if you're not uh, on our To Restore You VIP page, hop on over there, get your goodies. And then this one is just a side pocket. And then on the back page, there is, um, I had to do some rectifying of the back. So there's some clear washi, another little tuck with the plain or the trading card pieces. These were white flowers that I just, uh, I think I just used my distressings to juice those up a little bit. Another tag. I just love Oh, Blue Fern does an amazing job, and everything is so detailed. This is, um, this is another from my kit. So just a cute little, really nice size. I love the size of the Reader's Digest, um, and I and I have to say, it's the first um, I've uh, I've done other Reader's Digest books, but I've usually just used the covers, and so. Um, I'm definitely going to be doing more of them um, because I really like the size and um, I can tell you that probably in the future they won't be quite this thick. <clears throat> Oops, I forgot to put my 
Let's put our other little goodies back here. Um, but just kind of a fun, fun little project. So I am really excited about it. Um, I love the colors. I love that it's different. It does have some Christmas things in it, but it's mostly just a, a winter journal. So yeah, that's it. I just wanted to do a quick flip through. You could kind of like indoctrinating me back into the swing of things since this is my first video be since before Christmas. That's how long I've been in my craft room. So you can guess I wasn't feeling so hot, but I am back. Um, so with that, I want to just thank you for joining me. If you like this video, and please give us a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe so you can see all of the rest of the fun videos. Uh, tune into our Mindful Mondays and all of the other fun videos I have planned for 2022. And we will talk to you next time. Until then, remember to take time to just be. Cheers.